Hi, I'm Major General Pat Donahoe, Commanding General of Fort Benning and the Maneuver Center of Excellence. Hey, I want to talk to you about the 761st Tank Battalion, um, the, the Black Panthers of the Second World War. So the 761st is our first all-black tank unit. They're going to be the first African Americans that are going to fight in combat in armored vehicles. But the 761st Tank Battalion, they're going to, they're going to form up with men from around the country and then they're going to go to Louisiana and they're going to train in Louisiana in the early 40s. And they're finally going to make their way uh, to the east coast of the United States in 44 and be sent across to England uh, as the United States and uh, our allies invade France uh, to liberate France on the 6th of June 1944. By the end of the year, after the devastating losses that we suffer fighting across France, the 761st is going to be called forward by General George S. Patton. And he's going to call that battalion forward uh, to join his third army in the pursuit of the Germans into Germany. And the 761st is going to fight all through that late fall and then into the early winter as they close in on the Rhine River. And they fight incredibly well. Most of the time, they're going to get paired up with the 26th Infantry Division, the Yankee Division. And they'll work through some real distrust, this all-white infantry unit and this all-black tank battalion. And they're going, to, they're going to figure out how to work together. And then they're going to cut that battalion away. They're going to send them to the 71st Infantry Division. And they're going to have a really difficult time. Uh, the white members of the 71st trying to, trying to accept uh, these great tankers as they as they're working through uh, gaining their acceptance proven on the field of battle and that's a real challenge as as we as we see those two units try to figure out how they're going to work together there's a staff sergeant there's a tank commander in the 761st his name is Reuben Rivers and Rivers is going to constantly pull his tank forward of his supporting infantry he's going to do it time and time again in the fight towards the Rhine River. He's gonna dismount his tank in plain view of German soldiers. He's gonna be shot at, he's gonna be wounded. He's gonna wrap uh, a cable around a tree littered with mines on a road. And he's, gonna, he's gonna hop back on his tank and he's gonna pull that roadblock back. And he's gonna be so badly wounded that they want to evacuate him. He's gonna refuse evacuation. And he's gonna to continue to fight for the next couple of days. Eventually, he'll do a similar act of heroism and be killed uh, on the field of battle in France. And he's gonna actually be awarded the Medal of Honor uh, for conspicuous gallantry. And at Reuben Rivers, that is an incredibly brave, talented, young tanker, right? And at right about the time Reuben Rivers dies in France, uh, the Germans attack through the Ardennes in what becomes known as the Battle of the Bulge. The 761st is going to be ordered by General Patton to make an absolute 90 degree left turn and lead uh, as they, as they counterattack to relieve Best Stone. And the 761st will again distinguish itself uh, in, on the field of battle against some of the best German armored units uh, on the Western Front. And they're going to do that. They're going to do it time and time again. There's another gentleman I want to talk about. He's Paul Bates. He's the lieutenant colonel, he's the commander of the 761st. He's a white guy like me. Bates will get wounded in France and evacuated. But Bates loves that battalion and loves the men in that battalion. And so when he recuperates after a month out of the line, he's offered to go anywhere he wants to go. His answer is, I want to go back to my battalion. And so he's sent back to the 761st and Bates will lead that attack uh, in the relief of Bastogne and the counterattack against the Germans. And they'll eventually cross the Rhine River and they'll assault uh, and finally meet the Russians on the Elbe River at the end of the war in May of 1945. That's men like Paul Bates and Reuben Rivers who've decided how diversity and inclusion actually make us stronger. And the 761st ends up being the epitome of what it is for American units to come out fighting. And that's the motto of the 761st Battalion. They're the Black Panthers, but they come out fighting. Thanks.